currently Kirkland. Your source for city news and events in the community. With Pam Jardine at the news desk. Stay up to date with weekly news reports and what's happening in Kirkland. Now, here's Pam. Welcome to Currently Kirkland, where you hear stories about the people and sites that make Kirkland an attractive and vibrant place to live, work, and visit. I'm Pam Jardine. Scooby-Doo's got nothing on the pair of dog detectives that put their noses to work for the city's public works department. The dynamic duo of Molly and Crush helped the city's surface water division determine possible sources of human bacteria in Juanita Creek by doing a unique sniff test of water samples from the creek and its creek branches. Ryan Marie Tuomisto, the city's water quality program coordinator, explains. It's a creek of concern for the Department of Ecology, so the city of Kirkland takes it really seriously, and we want to determine if it is um, something that we can do to improve the health of the creek. So we have recruited um, a lot of people within the city to help us do a a large sampling event where we went out throughout the whole watershed and pulled samples and we King County Environmental Lab has been um, very supportive and they're running all of the samples for us doing the analytical data for us and we also have hired Crush and Molly from Environmental Canine Services two very smart female dogs that can sniff the difference between human waste and animal waste so we're the reason we've hired the dogs is they're very efficient. They can sniff and to tell us if we've got a source right away. And we want to do the analytical works. So we have that data to back it up. Molly's handler, Gwen Jones of Environmental Canine Services, explains how Molly became a canine detective. Well, we started in the sport of canine nose work and she excelled at that. And so we thought there had to be a practical application for her nose because she was, she was just so phenomenal with it. Then we found a practical application for it and we can help save the environment too. It was quite entertaining watching the super sleuths put their superpowers to work. During the first day, the canines did bucket testing of collected samples. And on the second day, things became a bit more action packed when they went to work out in the field. Well, Crush and Molly are coming. Um, they're giving us some positive sni signals that they are smelling some human pollution. So we are taking analytical samples of every structure in the area and are following tracing upstream to see if we can find the source of the contamination. The dogs both sniffed close to 100 samples during the two-day science project. For quality control purposes, both dogs smelled the same samples. The official results won't be processed for another six weeks or so, but you can take comfort in knowing that the city is taking such a proactive step in the right direction to keep surface water as clean as possible for our community's safety. If you'd like to find out more about Kirkland's water quality work, visit the city website and search surface water. Another big step for water quality in Kirkland is the completion and upgrades to the King County Pump Station in downtown Kirkland, located on the corner of 3rd Street and Park Lane. The new facility increases the pumping capacity from 6 million gallons per day to 9.4 million gallons per day, pumping wastewater to the county's Renton treatment plant. This upgrade to the system allows for efficiency to serve the growing Kirkland population. At a recent ribbon cutting event, both Pam Alardo, King County Wastewater Treatment Division Director, and Penny Sweet, Deputy Mayor of Kirkland, praised this new addition to our city and stressed the key role it plays in keeping our community's health. Also in attendance was W. Scott Trimble, whose colorful artwork, titled Pump to Gram, is featured on the building. The opening event also provided tours of the building to anyone who wanted a glimpse into how it operates. Although the pump station upgrade is complete, further enhancements to Park Lane continue to take shape. The city's working with an advisory group to best determine how to improve downtown walkability, improve stormwater management to protect Lake Washington, and to ensure equitable access. Advisory group meetings are open to the public. Visit the project webpage at www.kirklandwa.gov and search Park Lane. Other openings to celebrate include the season openings of the Kirkland Wednesday Market and the Juanita Friday Market. The Wednesday Market opened on June 4th and it runs each Wednesday through September 24th 
from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. at Marina Park. The Juanita Friday Market started on June 6th and runs each Friday from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. at Juanita Beach Park through September 26th. Both of these markets offer local produce, flowers, crafts, and much more. Support your community by visiting one or both of these markets throughout the season. You can find more information about the Kirkland Wednesday Market at www.kirklandmarket.org and more about the Juanita Friday Market at www.kirklandwa.gov parks. It was a big moment in Kirkland's volunteer history as the Kirkland Police and Fire Departments recently honored Chaplain Bill Tate, who's retiring from his many years of serving the city. He gave his final invocation at the ceremony for National Peace Officers Memorial Day on May 15, which was followed by an event to recognize his contributions. Chaplain Tate had a challenging role where he acted as a confidant for those in difficult situations, offering them support and providing them with the guidance they needed. From this, he noted that he has experienced and learned quite a bit. One of the lessons I learned early on was the gift of presence, just being there. It was so important, uh, not only to the uh, personnel of our fire and police departments, but the people themselves, just having somebody there to help. They may not remember what you say or what you do, but they'll remember you being there. And secondly, I think it's, uh, there's some situations you have no control over, and you just have to go with it and, uh, and do the do the best you can. Just like I said this morning in the ceremonial service, uh, there are questions, but at this time we don't have any answers. So you learn to go on regardless of whether you have the answers or not. While the day was about celebrating him, Chaplain Tate's selflessness is reflected in what he had to say about the Kirkland police and fire personnel he worked with for over 25 years. I just can't uh, say enough about the personnel and uh, the character of uh, the people involved in our fire and police departments. They're absolutely the greatest, greatest people. I've been with them on scores, hundreds of incident calls. And the way they relate to people, the way they re uh, meet the needs of our community, it's just absolutely phenomenal. The feeling was mutual, as Fire Chief Kevin Nalder explains. Well, Chaplain Tate was always there for us as a fire department. He was always there for the community. Um, he responded at all hours, 24-7, 365 days a year. And he was always an inspiration and a light in a time when it's, it's the darkest moment that people can have. Uh, and we have just been greatly appreciative of all of the things that he has done for our department and for the community in 26 years of service. Police Chief Eric Olson shared the same sentiments about Chaplain Tate and offered a heartfelt thank you for his service. Chaplain, on behalf of the men and women of the Kirkland Police Department, I'd like to sincerely thank you for your prayers, for your commitment, for your dedication to not just the city of Kirkland and our community, but also as a minister to the men and women of the Kirkland Police Department. You are very much appreciated and you will be missed. Thank you so much for being here. I love you and uh, I count it the privilege uh, to have served with you in these years. As always, thank you for watching Currently Kirkland. Remember, you can watch us on demand on the city's website, on your mobile devices, and on YouTube. If you have any news, tips, suggestions, or comments, please send them to kirklandtv at kirklandwa.gov. We'd love to hear from you.